Hey everybody, welcome to this video of the sex dictionary. Today I'm going to explain you what the term anorgasmia means, which is the incapability of having orgasms. Stay tuned for this very interesting video. All right, let me explain you what anorgasmia is. Anorgasmia is a sexual dysfunction where the person affected cannot have orgasms even if she or he is stimulated correctly, all right? So it's, it's a problem that affects more uh, to women than men, actually, much more. Uh, there's more women who actually is, are affected by this type of, of, of uh, sexual dysfunction. Maybe you've had a partner or you've heard of a woman that say, I cannot have orgasms, I cannot really orgasm at all, not even clitoris orgasms. And that can happen. It's not very common. I think uh, there's not that many people in the world, maybe three, four, five percent, uh, statistics say that uh, can actually suffer this type of dysfunction, but it exists. And um, I know this is a very de delicate issue. I don't want to, you know, if, if you've suffered this, I recommend to go to a doctor or someone that can actually help you. I I'm going to, I'm going to tell you now what the reasons for this type of dysfunction can be and um, how to solve it. It can be solved. Definitely can be solved, especially some of them can be definitely solved. And some of them are more, uh, you know, they, they go into a deeper uh, psychological uh, uh, problems or, or factors that, that I cannot really, I'm, I'm not a doctor. So, I, 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 you know, you should seek some professional uh, advice. So let me just tell you what uh, are the, um, the normal reasons to suffer this type of dysfunction. The first one is a psychiatric disorder. That means that you have some type of uh, psychiatric problem or block that doesn't let you have the orgasm. And this is a... It, it, it's deep in our psychology and, and, and sometimes you, you need to go really back to see which can be these factors. Uh, some, some of them can be from, uh, from some type of uh, experience you had when you were younger, maybe some uh, uh, beliefs or, 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 or educational behaviors that you have been taught or you have been uh, acquired throughout your life and that, that affects the your capability of having orgasms, your capability of actually letting go and enjoying your body. So this is one of, or the first of these uh, factors that can lead to anorgasmia. The other one can be a medical problem. A medical problem, maybe you had a, an injury that actually affects the, the, the organs that actually can allow you to have an orgasm, that can be, or maybe uh, you had some type of surgery that actually can affect uh, your, your capability of having orgasms. Maybe you have a situational um, problem and, and this can be actually be solved, okay? Most of the time, a situational means that you're taking maybe some, some, some medication or you're, you're going through a process that uh, doesn't let you have orgasms. One of the most common ones are if you're taking antidepressants. If you're taking antidepressants with serotonin, you probably are experiencing a lot of problems of having orgasms, especially women. Really a big problem. If you're taking this type of pills or this type of um, drugs, it's, it's going to affect you in terms of sex and in terms of, especially in terms of having orgasms. So uh, this is situational because you can change it. You can stop taking those pills and everything will come back to normal. So uh, actually, there's statistics that say that 40% of the people who take this type of pills, uh, they actually have these type of problems and actually experience this type of uh, orgasm problems, all right? Another one, drug addictions. I'm talking about heroin, cocaine, uh, cannabis, anything like that can affect your orgasm capability because, because you know, there's some substances in your body that can actually affect the way you, 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 you have sex. Some people say that actually the opposite. Some people say they have even more sex drive. It depends on the person. Some people are... are, are you know, they can experience this or the other thing. Most of the time, is heroin is the worst one, all right? I, I know there's not that many people that take heroin, but uh, if you're, uh, you know, if you, you take anything related with opium, it's going to affect you, all right, uh, severely in terms of having menopause. After the menopause, women, most of the time, they experience some type of, of, of maybe they can experience this type of problem. They, they maybe have less sex drive and they maybe have more problems to uh, experience orgasms. Uh, most of the time there's a hormones uh, um, unbalanced, uh, there's, you know, hormones go up or down and um, that can affect the way you can have actually orgasm. So uh, menopause in women can actually affect 
their orgasm capability as well. Traumas, traumas, things like rape, uh, things like accidents, uh, things like that, that, that really can affect women in the capability of having orgasm or men, of course, uh, men can have this type of experience as well. As I said, there's more women that actually experience this type of, of problems, but there's also many men that can uh, experience this. So um, this type of traumas can affect severely on the capability of having orgasms and on letting your body go. For men, erectile dysfunction, this is a big problem. Of course, if you're not erected, if you don't have a, a, an erection, you, you really cannot have an orgasm. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a problem for men. If you have this, this type of dysfunction, um, you can actually have anorgasmia problems. As I said before as well, uh, hormonal imbalance, anything, it doesn't have to be with uh, the menopause, it can be any type of hormonal imbalance in men or woman can actually affect uh, the capability of having orgasms. So there's many, many things that can actually go wrong. Um, I have to say one thing, and, and every single person in the world has the same organs. So most people can have orgasms. Most people should have the ability to have orgasms. And of course, there's some factors that can affect the way you can uh, have orgasms. Actually, they can affect, uh, some are more severe, some can be solved very easily. Uh, as I said before, I just wanted to, sh to tell you what the term is. I don't want to go too deep into this because I'm not a doctor anyway. And, and, and some of these things are very, very uh, delicate, special, and need to be treated by doctors and, and psychiatrists that can really help you uh, um, avoid this problem. But if you have anorgasmia in your life, uh, try to seek into this problem, see which one is probably affecting you. And uh, believe me, everything can be solved. And uh, if you're not experiencing orgasms, you're missing out. So, so uh, seek um, help and um, try to, to solve this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Um, subscribe to my channel to receive more videos like this every single week. Um, there's a lot of information in my blog about sex. Uh, I have free gifts for you as well. If you just visit it, I'll get you some, some free ebooks, which are great, uh, that you can read through. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.